Luigi is obviously a very popular Nintendo character as well, but he's got tons of merchandise over the years, including a ton of plushes. And today we're going to be looking at plushes all the way back in the 1980s to now. So yeah, how about we go back to the beginning of Mario plushes, starting off with this first ever Luigi plush made by the company Acme in 1988. Now this plush was available in carnivals back in the year 1988, so yeah, this plush is very old and honestly not that good. Because well, just by looking at it, you could tell that it has a lot of inaccuracies to it. And well, this plush also came in tons of sizes, coming in an 8 inch to a 4 feet tall size. So yeah, this plush came in tons of variants, so yeah, the quality control on these plushes are just really bad. And well, a lot of details could get easily damaged, like the buttons on the overalls and also the eyes because they're made out of a plastic material and they could easily get scratched and damaged very, very easily. And also, since the straps on the overalls is made out of this very delicate, like, string-like material, very easily get destroyed, which is obviously a bad thing about this plush. And also, the hat on these plushes were made out of a felt material. And also, just overall, the quality control on these plushes are just terrible, and basically every single one just looks different. But yeah, for the time, it was the only Luigi plush that you could get, so yeah, definitely not the best Luigi plush, but it was a good start. And well, there weren't any more Luigi plushes for three years until 1991 when Benpresto made this Luigi plush. Now, Banpresto's Luigi Plush is obviously just a lot better than Acme's. Because, well, just the overall design of it's just a lot better, and the quality control on these plushes, even though they still weren't that good, they're a lot better than Acme. And, well, even though this plush is better, it still has a lot of details that could get damaged, like the emblem on the hat being easily crackable, because it's made out of an iron-on material. And, same thing with the buns, it could get cracked really easily, and, well, but the eyes are made out of a plastic material, so they could get easily chipped and damaged, and the mustache is only glued on, and it's some felt material, so yeah, that could get easily damaged as well, and overall, this plush could get damaged in a lot of places. Also, the proportions on this plush are really bad, especially because Luigi just doesn't really have legs. So yeah, overall, it's definitely a lot better than Acme's Luigi plush, but still, overall, it's just really not that good. Because well, it has a lot of inaccuracies to it, and also could get easily damaged, especially because this plush was released in 1991. It could get very easily damaged because, well, it's been out for years. And well, in 1992, this is very obscure Luigi plush that was released by the company Galson. And well, this is actually a keychain Luigi plush, and it's overall just very obscure and rare. And well, overall, it's just really not that bad in my opinion because, well, especially for a keychain, they had to squeeze a lot of details onto a small space and they overall did a pretty good job with it. The only really bad thing is, is that, well, the materials used were just very low quality. Because, well, as you can see, the eyes and the emblem could get easily damaged because, well, the emblems may have a felt material and the eyes are made out of an iron-on material. And it seems with a ton of these early Luigi plushes, just Mario plushes in general, they did a really bad job using materials on them. Because, well, as you can see by all these early Luigi plushes, you can tell that, well, a lot of companies made good plushes, but they just made them out of really bad materials because, well, they don't really hold up well over the years. But yeah, overall, the design of it's pretty good, but the quality of it's just really bad because, well, it could fall apart easily over the years. And now moving on to 1993, we have a few Luigi plushes, starting off with this Mario and Wario Luigi plush. Now, the game Mario & Wario is a pretty obscure game, and also has a very obscure plush set. And well, since this is part of a very obscure plush set, well, this Luigi plush is actually extremely rare nowadays. And well, in my opinion, for this time at least, it was probably the best Luigi plush because, well, most of the details are actually pretty good. Because, well, not only the proportions are pretty good on it, the details on it can't really fall apart that easily, especially for the ones on the face. Because, well, the really only details that could get damaged are the eyes and the emblem on the hat because, well, they're made out of an iron-on material, but besides that, the rest of the materials on this plush are actually pretty good. And especially for the time, it's probably one of the best Luigi plushes that were released. It also has cardboard in the feet so it holds up well over the years so the feet doesn't get under stuff so it can actually stand up over the years which is a pretty nice detail for Takara to add. And well, I'll definitely say that they did a good job with the Luigi plush especially for the time and in the same year they also released another Luigi plush in the Mario Kart set. And well, I'd say that Takara also did a great job with this Luigi plush especially because it was released in the same year and well, but it also looks pretty good and it's pretty unique because it's the only Luigi plush to ever be featured in a Mario Kart set so yeah it's overall a pretty nice look plush and the cart used could actually roll and it's overall made out of a pretty good material except it could get damaged over the years especially on the wheel and some details in the cart and with the luigi plush itself could get damaged on the eyes because it's made out of an iron on material but besides that this luigi plush is actually pretty good especially for the time and well especially for releasing two mario plushes in one year so yeah takara did actually a really good job with these two luigi plushes because they were released in the same year, not too far apart from each other, so yeah, it's pretty surprising that they were able to keep these Luigi plushes looking pretty good and accurate to how they're supposed to be. And in that same year, Banpresto released his Reindeer Luigi plush. 
which was the first ever just non-normal Luigi plush because we, before this there was only normal Luigi plushes besides the one in the Mario Kart but yeah this is the first kind of like exclusive Luigi plush that's more unique and well just like other band Presto plushes this one could get pretty damaged though especially on the reindeer costume with the eyes and the nose because well they could easily just fall off because they're only glued on it will same thing with the eyes and the emblem on the shirt because well it could get easily damaged because well they're made out of very delicate materials which is a shame that Band Presto plushes were made with these bad materials, especially this early on, because, well, since these plushes are just really old now, they could fall apart really easily, and it's hard to find them in mint condition. But yeah, even though a lot of materials are easily damageable, it's still overall pretty cool Luigi plush. And now moving on to 1994, we have this other Band Presto Luigi plush made out of a taffeta material. Now, a whole set of these plushes were released, but the Luigi one looks like this, and, well, overall, it actually looks pretty good, in my opinion. Even though it's not proportionally accurate, the details on it overall look really good and really only one detail is able to get damaged being the eyes because well they're made out of a plastic material. But besides that, this Luigi plush is actually really good and has all the correct details on it and has a pretty vibrant green color to it. And from what I can tell, these plushes actually hold up pretty well over the years, so yeah, they actually look pretty good and they also hold up pretty well. So yeah, I'm glad they made this Luigi plush because it actually looks really good for the time. And well, the only really bad detail about it is that the proportions are pretty off because, well, once again, Luigi just doesn't have legs for some reason. And well, moving on to 1995, we have this very weird Hammer Luigi plush. Now, I really don't know why this plush exists because, well, it's overall just a really weird design and a really weird concept. And well, it's made out of the same material as the 1994 Luigi plush, except this one just looks a lot weirder. And really, I would say the 1994 plush is just overall a lot better besides the proportions because though this one actually has pretty accurate proportions, they're just not made that well. Because well, the legs and the arms get easily understuffed over the years because well, it seems that they didn't stuff these plushes too well. And well, the face just overall looks really weird in my opinion. For some reason, he also has an open mouth which just I don't really think it looks that good in my opinion. And I don't know what it is, but this Luigi plush just overall looks really weird and I don't know really why it exists. Because overall it just looks pretty strange and well, but I don't really know why they made it because they already had a pretty good looking Luigi plush made out of the same material. And I also have no clue what this is based off of and why Luigi is holding a hammer. I don't know if they just decided to make it like that for the set or something like that, but yeah, it's overall just a really weird plush that doesn't really have much backstory to it. And well, for 1996 we have this really weird obscure keychain Luigi plush made by Ben Presto. And honestly, I don't really have much to say about this plush because I was only able to find one image of it. But it was made by Ben Presto and it is a keychain, so yeah, it kind of resembles the 1991 Luigi plush, but it's just a keychain, so yeah, it looks overall pretty weird. And overall, it's definitely not that good of a Luigi plush because there's a lot of details that could get damaged on it, so yeah, I would definitely not recommend getting this one because of the eyes, the emblem, and basically every single detail on the face could get easily damaged. And it's overall just a really weird plush that I found and I don't really know what it is. But yeah, moving on to 1997, we actually have this really good BDNA Luigi plush. And I'd say at this point, this is probably the best Luigi plush that was made. Because, well, it has a lot of good details on it, even though it is stuffed with beans, it overall holds up pretty well, especially in the arms and the head, because those are actually stuffed in those parts. And, well, the emblem and the eyes are made out of a felt material, but besides that, this plush holds up really well over the years, and it overall just looks really nice because, well, it has most accurate details to it. Because, well, at the time, there were a lot of Luigi plushes were lacking details, but this one actually has all the accurate details, especially for how Luigi looked at the time. And, well, this plush actually has tons of variants to it. This first variant had a normal brim on it, but the second variant had a felt brim on it. Which is actually pretty bad in my opinion because well, the felt brim could get easily damaged even more than the normal plush brim. So yeah, I recommend getting the plush brim instead of the felt brim because well, the felt brim on the hat could get easily damaged over the years because well, felt's a pretty bad material to make stuff out of. And well, there's also this keychain version of the Luigi plush which is literally the exact same as the normal variant but it's just smaller. And well, the final and most rare variant is this Luigi plush with a smiling face. And overall, this Luigi plush just looks a lot happier because well, the eyebrows are further up and also the face has a mouth on it. So yeah, this Luigi plush is overall just a lot better in my opinion because it has more character to the plush. And it also just looks nicer in my opinion because they stuff more parts of this plush also. And yeah, I would definitely recommend getting any variant of this BDNA Luigi plush because well, especially for the time, it was just overall a really nice Luigi plush. 
And well, after that, there weren't really a lot of Luigi plushes, especially in the early 2000s, because well, throughout the early 2000s, there was barely any Luigi plushes that were made. And really, the next notable one was the Kelly Toy Luigi plush. And well, this plush probably has to be one of the most popular Luigi plushes, because well, basically everyone wants one, because it was a very liked plush by a ton of collectors. And it's also for some reason quite rare and quite expensive. But yeah, this Luigi plush comes in tons of sizes because well, they were available in arcades and carnivals. And well, obviously, since these plushes were carnival and arcade prizes, they were mass produced. So yeah, a lot of details on these plushes look weird, especially because quality control was just really bad on them. And well, a lot of details on this plush could also get very damaged, especially the eyes, the emblem, and the buttons, because well, they're made out of an iron-on material. Also, the hair on the side of the head on this plush could also get unstitched from the plush, and it overall just looks really weird. And same thing with the mustache, because well, they were only stitched on very slightly, especially because well, they were mass-produced. But yeah, this Luigi plush actually has a lot of problems with it, but if you could find a good-looking one that actually doesn't really look that weird, you could, it's actually a really good plush. And overall, it just matters on which type of plush you get, because well, since these plushes were highly mass-produced, there are just so many different versions of it. So yeah, if you could find a good-looking version of it, it's actually a pretty good plush to get. But yeah, moving on to 2004, we have the infamous Mario Party 5 Luigi plush. This probably has to be the most well-known Luigi plush, and also one of the most expensive. And well, in my opinion, for the time, this is probably the best Luigi plush made. Because well, it has all the accurate details to it, and overall holds up pretty well over the years. Especially because the name made it out of mostly really good materials. The only really bad details on it is that the emblem could get easily cracked and damaged because it's made out of an iron on material, and also the buttons could get easily damaged because they're made out of a felt material. But besides that, this plush is actually really good. The mustache on this plush is actually really nicely shaped and accurate to how Luigi is supposed to look, and while the embroidery on the face is overall really nice. And while basically all the details on this plush look really accurate, besides the arms, because while the arms do look pretty short and would look better if they were a little longer, but besides that, these plush is actually really good. And it holds up pretty well over the years, and you can actually find some pretty good nice mint condition ones still. But well, this plush is extremely rare and extremely expensive, and on eBay, this plush sells for upwards of like $300 usually. Because, well, these plushes are just so rare and wanted over the years that people will just pay ridiculous prices for them. But yeah, moving on to two years later, we have this very similar Gosh Luigi plush. Now, the company Gosh made this very weird Mario plush set, which is basically an exact copy of the Mario Party 5 plush set, but it's still official. Which is overall really weird because, well, these Gosh plushes basically just copy the patterns of the Mario Party 5 ones, except they're just a lot lower quality. Because, well, as you can tell by this one, if you compare the two, they actually look pretty similar, except the Gosh one just looks a lot lower quality, especially on the face. Because, well, the embroidery just isn't as good, and also the hair just looks really weird. Also, the colors are just slightly off, and overall, this is just a really strange plush that is actually official. So yeah, basically, these Gosh plushes are basically just officially licensed knockoffs of the Sine ones. Which is overall just really weird in my opinion that Nintendo even approved of these being released because well they probably knew that they were based off of the Mario Party 5 ones because well they just look so similar to them. So I'm kind of shocked that Nintendo even approved of these basically official knockoffs of the Mario Party 5 ones. But yeah, moving on to a few years later we have this PMS Luigi plush. Now this Luigi plush actually looks pretty good, especially because, well, these were sold in stores for quite cheap. And usually you could find these plushes in stores for, like, only, like, $10. So yeah, for a very cheap Luigi plush, this one's actually really good. Because, well, these ones were obviously meant to be lower quality because, well, they were made with a lot less materials because, well, they were only being sold for very cheap. So yeah, for a very cheaply made Luigi plush, it actually looks pretty good, especially with the embroidery. The only really bad part is that the buns are made out of a felt material, and also the hat has an iron-on material on it. But yeah, for only $10 when this plush originally retailed, it's actually pretty good for this Luigi plush, but nowadays they sell for a lot more because these plushes are getting pretty old. But yeah, I definitely not recommend paying tons of money for this one because it was overall pretty low quality, and while people try to sell them for like upwards of $50, which obviously isn't worth it, especially because a lot of these plushes get easily damaged. But yeah, moving on, we have this very weird Casino Luigi made by Banpresto. So yeah, for Super Mario 64 DS, they made this really weird plush set that had a tons of characters in it, including Casino Luigi. Because up in Super Mario 64 DS version, you could actually play some mini games, including one where Luigi was in a casino outfit, so yeah, that's obviously what this is based off of. 
And well, besides the fact that this plush is just really small, only standing at like 5 inches tall, this plush is actually really good in my opinion, especially because it has all the correct details on it. It also has cardboard in the feet of it, so it stands up over the years, so it doesn't get all the weird in the feet, so it can actually continue standing up. Also, the hat overall looks pretty good, and the embroidery on the face looks really nice, and it holds up pretty well over the years. And honestly, not many details on this plush could get damaged, I can't really find many that could, so yeah, overall, they did a really good job making this Luigi plush very high quality and hold up well over the years. And well, the only really bad thing about this plush is that for some reason the broom is like two separate pieces of plush material that are glued together, so yeah, that's one really weird part about it, but yeah, besides that, this plush is really good. And well, moving on, we have this new Super Mario Bros. Wii Sine Luigi plush. And well, this one actually looks really good because well, it's a lot better than the original Mario Party 5 Luigi plush. And honestly, it uses a lot of the exact same details on it, except it's just higher quality. Because well, the hat actually has an embroidered on emblem instead of having an iron on one, and the embroidery on the face has been improved. And they basically just improved everything that was wrong on the Mario Party 5 one and made this plush. And well, this still probably has to be one of the best Luigi plushes that were made, especially for the time. And well, honestly, this is better than most modern Sine plushes, including the All-Star Luigi, because well, this one's just higher quality in my opinion, it overall just looks better. And well, they have a lot of details that can't really get damaged over the years, because well, the only really one detail that could get damaged are the buttons being made out of a felt material. And it was used for a lot of designs of future Sine Luigi plushes like the Fire Luigi. Because well, this Fire Luigi plush is basically the exact copy of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii one is just in a different outfit. And well, this Fire Luigi plush was released around the same time as the new Super Mario Bros. Wii one, so yeah, it's obviously based off that. But yeah, in the year 2010, the company Goldie made this Luigi plush. Once again, these plushes were mass produced, so yeah, they don't have the best quality control, but they overall look pretty good. And well, they actually don't have really any details that could get damaged over the years because well, most of it's just embroidery. So yeah, there aren't really many details that could get damaged, but it makes this plush overall just a lot better and holds up well over the years. And well, in 2012, the company Jack Specific made this Luigi plush for the game New Super Mario Bros. Wii U. And well, just like Sine, they used this base Luigi design to make other plushes like Fire Luigi, Ice Luigi, and Cat Luigi. And well, they also made this huge Luigi plush, which overall looks really good in my opinion, especially a lot better than the original, just smaller Jack Specific one. But yeah, Jack Specific just kind of made basically the exact same thing as the Sine did, because well, they just used their normal Luigi design and turned it into a bunch of different plushes, just like Sine did. And well, honestly, it seems like Jack Specific just is a lower quality version of Sine. Because well, if you compare the Jack Specific Cat Luigi and the Sine Cat Luigi, you could obviously tell the Sine one's just a lot more higher quality. And it kind of makes sense because well, the Sine ones were a lot more expensive when they were first released and the Jack specific ones were a lot cheaper. So it seems that the Jack specific ones were kind of just meant to be cheaper versions of the Sine ones. And well for New Super Mario Bros Wii U, Sine made this Squirrel Luigi plush. Which is actually never made by another company, so yeah this one's actually pretty exclusive to Sine themselves because well there's only two sides of it, both being made by Sine. And well, in 2016, the company Good Stuff made these Luigi plushes for arcades. And well, these plushes are obviously just a lot lower quality than the Sine ones and the Jack specific ones, because well, they were just made to be arcade prizes. So yeah, just like the Kelly Toy ones, these ones were just mass produced, so yeah, they definitely don't have the best quality control and they could get easily damaged. But they did make some pretty cool ones like the Normal Luigi, the Fire Luigi, and the Ice Luigi. And well, now it seems that Sine is the main producer of Mario plushes, because well, in 2017, they made their All-Star Luigi plush, which in my opinion is actually lower quality than the original New Super Mario Bros. Wii Luigi plush. Because well, I just think the new Super Mario Bros. Wii one is just a lot better than this one in my opinion. But yeah, since then they basically used this design for every power up Luigi plush including this builder Luigi plush for the game Mario Maker 2. Which is actually very exclusive because no other company has made any other builder Luigi plushes. And well since then the most modern Luigi plushes are made by companies like Nintendo Tokyo and Super Nintendo World. Because when Nintendo Tokyo made this Cat Luigi keychain, they actually never made an official Luigi plush besides this one. So yeah, this is the only Luigi plush that Nintendo Tokyo ever made, which is the Cat one. So yeah, that's overall pretty weird in my opinion that they made a Cat one, but not a normal one. And well, the newest plushes that you could get of Luigi are from Super Nintendo World. And well, in my opinion, these ones are just super high quality and they actually just look really good. And in my opinion, they're actually better than the All-Star Sine ones. So yeah, these ones are actually really good, especially for Super Nintendo World. Except they do sell for a lot of money on eBay because well, when they get resold, they sell for like upwards of $50. But yeah, obviously this isn't every single Luigi plush because well, there's just too many to go over. But these were just kind of the main ones. So yeah, comment down below which of these Luigi plushes were your favorite. And yeah, have a great day.